All right, so today I am going to be showing you guys how to diagnose your turn signals on your RSX. So I recently bought this RSX not too long ago and it's had a couple electrical issues since I've bought it. So I'm gonna be showing you guys how to diagnose and fix the issue. So in my case, I am having an issue with my turn signal not turning on but my hazards are working just fine. Alrighty, so when I put the car in accessory mode, I can hit the uh, hazard button and the hazards work just fine. But when it comes to the uh, turn signal, I'm getting no response from either light on the dash or on the front or the back of the car. None of the lights are turning on. So I'm going to be kind of just diagnosing it and checking everything out. So before we go ahead and spend any money, uh, we're going to go under the hood and check the fuse box, see if we have any faulty fuses or anything like that. When you take off your fuse uh, cover, we've got a quick little diagram of the fuse box here. You're going to want to read it like this, not like this. So basically what we're going to want to try and point out are this hazard light and this small light the small light is going to indicate the uh, blinkers this is going to indicate the hazards so it's going to be these two right here in the middle so to tell if you have a bad fuse as you can see the prong in the middle is split so that is definitely a burnt fuse and that's our small light so i'm going to now check the uh, hazard Now that I got the hazard light out, you can see that the, uh, the prong on it is still intact. So that just shows why the hazard light is working. So before you go and uh, buy a new fuse for the car, you just want to you want to make sure you have some spare fuses here. And if you're in the same situation as me, you could just swap these two and see if the lights still work. Otherwise, if not, uh, it's going to be a relay issue if it keeps burning. And in my case, it is. I swapped the uh, swap the fuses. This is actually my spare fuse here. And when I tried to when I tried to do it, it actually burns. So, so if you're in my boat and the fuse does actually keep burning out, uh, it's probably gonna point down to a relay issue. So to locate the relay, it's actually gonna be underneath the um, steering column. And it's gonna be right above that fuse box. I'm gonna point it out here in a second, but. If you do burn through fuses like me, you are going to want to pick up a quick emergency kit just so you can get the correct fuse in there. And that way you don't keep burning through them. You're going to want to get this. Um, the part number is EP34. You can pick this up at most local auto stores. I was lucky enough to uh, find a couple nearby. So pick this up and basically I'm just going to be replacing this. And if that doesn't fix my issue, then it's going to be a lot deeper. But for the most part, I'm almost positive it will so to locate the flasher relay we got to go underneath here and it's gonna be the first one right here it's gonna be this big box i don't know if you can see it i'm gonna try and get up in there it's gonna be this box right here this big old thing so that's gonna be our flasher relay we're just gonna take it off and replace it so to further locate the uh the relay you can just look at your diagram here under 24 and 25 it's going to be the relay directly above those two so you're going to have to get down under here and you see here's the relay it's just going to have two clips like this you're going to want to just peel back one on the bottom one on the top and it should slide right out the top one is a little bit more tricky to get to once you get that off it should be ready to get the new one in so let's get it once you take it out you want to compare the two and make sure that you're putting it in the proper way with the prongs facing the same way all righty now that we got the relay nice and secured up in there we're gonna go go ahead and go back around to the motor check out the engine bay fuse box so now we're just gonna want to throw in the extra fuses into the right corresponding spot. So I went ahead and tried testing it out again and unfortunately the uh, fuse popped again. So that just indicates that there is a short somewhere in the wiring. So now I'm gonna try and diagnose where the short is. So we're gonna wanna start off by removing the steering column just to see if the uh, shortage is happening anywhere around the switch. And then after that, I'm gonna go down to this fuse box and check this one. And if it's not there, 
I'm gonna check the, uh, the edge bay fuse box for the shortage. So to take this off, it's just a couple Phillips screws underneath here, some trim pieces that you're gonna wanna unclip. So yeah. So now that we got the steering column off, we're gonna be following the switch and following all the wires to see if there's any any positives or any broken wires that may be on the ground causing this to burn. So we have resistance. So we looked at a service manual and it shows that in the schematic, the wiring diagram, the power runs from the battery to the fuse for the hazards, and then through here into this switch, which controls the hazards as well as the turning signals. So we replaced just about everything after the fact, of, or after the, the hazard switch, and it didn't fix anything, so now we're we decided that we were going to jumper the white and black wire to the white and green wire because that in, in turn uh, actuates the switch that, um, or it actuates the uh, switch for the turn signals from the hazards and we pretty much just jumpered it. With a little wire, we plugged one into here, and then one into there, and that it, that will connect the two, activating the turn signal circuit, and it worked after we did that, so. It basically just comes down to a faulty hazard switch. Yeah, the switch is, uh, is like, stuck in one position and it's not going into the other the turn signal position and that's just what's causing that fuse to pop so yep this is honestly probably one of the best ways to break this down if you ever run into this issue i mean i read on a couple forums that this hazard switch uh can cause some problems with your turn signal especially when you install a double bin so yeah so for the time being, we're just gonna be taping together the black and white wire with the green and white wire. We're just gonna be uh, taping those together for the time being until uh, the new switch comes in. Apparently it's just stuck in a, stuck in the on position so it causes some shit. So <laughs> yeah, we're just gonna get that replaced. Get the radio plugged in. Mm -hmm. So now when I start the car, or put it in accessory mode, the blinker should be activated, the blinker should be activated so 